Anger is an ugly emotion, unbridled rage even more so. And when it bubbled up inside me, I channeled it the only way I knew how. I cleaned the house like a man possessed. Runs out of gas. <laughs> <sighs> All right, I'll make a deal with you. I'm listening. You can go to Houston with your friends, but I want to meet this girl first. That's very reasonable. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, can you please reach the dryer sheets? I get vertigo on the step stool. I've often been accused of being stubborn and willful, but sometimes it works like gangbusters. sleep knowing that just outside my bedroom was our living room and just outside our living room was that hallway and immediately adjacent to that hallway was this. <laughs> Do you realize that if Penny wakes up there is no reasonable explanation as to why we're here? I just gave you a reasonable explanation. <laughs> no, no, you gave me an explanation. Its reasonableness will be determined by a jury of your peers. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I have no peers. <laughs> we have to get out of here. What if someone looks in there? They're just coming over for dinner. No one's gonna look in the closet. You don't know that. What if someone's looking for the bathroom and they open that door? Could work out. For all we know, there's a toilet in there somewhere. <laughs> Fine, but after tonight, we need to get a handle on this mess. Yeah, we should do. We should show the closet to Sheldon. Why? <laughs> Are you kidding? He's like a savant at organizing. Did you know everything in his apartment has a label on it? Including his label maker, which has a label that says label maker. <laughs> and if you look really close at that label maker label, you'll see a label that says label. <laughs> oh, so guess we can't just ask him to straighten our closet. No, we wouldn't ask him. We'd just show him the closet and let the goblins in his head take it from there. Sheldon, I've been cooking all day. Wow. Now, don't you feel silly. Show him the closet. Sheldon, come on, it's getting late. Time to go. Oh, five more minutes. That's what you said five minutes ago. Amy and Penny are already in the car. Let's move it. How come I never get to do anything I want to do? You know, if he really wants to stay and finish, I can give him a ride home. Oh, please, Leonard, he said it's okay. Sheldon, it's... Wait, I can go home without you? Bye! <laughs> well, yeah, Howard, I have a few questions. I found three bowling pins. Now, do you juggle these, or are you missing seven? <laughs> juggle. <laughs> you health nuts kill me. <laughs> oh, my God, it's beautiful! <clears throat> and look, you found the juggling pins I hid. The closet looks great. Let's get out of here. Wait, can I bring this box of extra shirt buttons to sort on the ride? Do whatever you want. Oh, thanks. Oh, great party. I don't 
Yeah, Penny, uh, I have a couple of questions about your closet. Now, is there any reason you're keeping this dead goldfish? Damn, I forgot to feed him. <laughs> and that I had him. <laughs> What, now, did you also have a dog? Because I found what appears to be a battery-operated chew toy. Party's over! Party's over! <laughs>